Hello everybody, I'm that dude over there, and look at this! 10 subscribers. I get that this may not seem like a lot, but damn, who knew I could swindle 10 people into watching garbage content? Now watch as this number descends after this video goes live. Hmm. But in all seriousness, I want to thank you for watching. Genuinely. Like... I've said it before, it takes a lot of work making the videos I do, and I'm glad that 10 people have decided that these videos are worth tuning into basically every week. But me sitting here just saying thank you over and over again isn't worth turning into a video, so instead I want to take the time to detail what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and where we go from here. So if you want to know what's up, watch till the end and see what's going on. Otherwise. Just take this message to heart. I do appreciate you uh, tuning in to see what's up. So let's start with this. My very first video was me playing the gauntlet till I beat it as a Nuzlocke. I decided to stop it at black and white for more or less two reasons. One, I wanted a challenge and with the exception of like Ultra Sun and Moon, I don't expect to get one after the Unova games. Second, for recording reasons. I only have access to the first 5 generations, and possibly 8 and 9, but I haven't tested it out yet. As of now though, now being the time writing this and recording it, we're at a bit of an impasse. Mostly my fault, being stuck on generation 3. Depending on when this video goes live, the video might be up, but I want to promise you that after that video, I will not stop until I've completed Pokemon Emerald and upload that experience. I want to move on from Hoenn, and once we do that, we get access to Platinum and the Johto remakes. It gives me new content to work with and progresses us towards the goal of completing the game, as a gauntlet. After that, I don't know, I may do some other Pokemon content like covering how I'd make an evil team, or playing the Mystery Dungeon games randomized, and covering it by chapter. Either way, it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, once the gauntlet is over. This series is just me challenging myself to complete a Fire Emblem game with as few units as possible. I know solo runs are a thing, but I think they're dumb and Iron Man's are way too stressful for me, considering my skill level. I mean, just count how many times I had to reset during my 5 units run to see how poorly I play. I had to cover most if not all the games up to Awakening since yeah, I still don't have a capture card for my 2DS. Uh, and when making this series, I didn't just want to copy Excelbum's style of videos where he covers it chapter by chapter. So instead, I just covered the game itself. The only reason why I broke Radiant Dawn into 4 parts is because, you know, it's a huge game, and trying to talk about it all in one sitting is like listening to a lecture, it's not fun. If I manage to burn through this sinkhole, I might randomize the games for content since you can do that. Or maybe play some ROM hacks, but you know, if we get to that point, you'll get to really see how bad I am. Like I always say, I'm not really a writer. I'm simply a man who loves reading a good story. It's why most of the can you fix stuff you see, I rely on vagueness or tropes that are often seen while I explain what I would like to see from them. The whole segment at the end is the only time I try my hand at writing, and it usually comes out meh compared to what I lay down. Anyways, when I cover stuff on that, I generally try to tackle things that are either suffering from poor writing or are generally overall panned. I don't like discussing fanfiction-esque ideas with a show that's really good, because I don't think my ideas could fix what the writers are working on. I can make a bad story basic or generic, but I can't fix what's already working, if that makes sense. If I find anything else that sucks, that I can think I can make better, I'll let you know, but until then, uh, I'll just uh, continue looking. Or, you know, you could send me some ideas. Let's start with the Papa stuff. I started making these videos to spice up the content, like with Can You Fix. 
But the reasoning for this specific series was because, you know, completion. Have you ever came across a game from your childhood that you wanted to beat but never could? Was there a game that you would play at the computer lab at school that you could never finish? Well, for me, that was any of the Papa's games. I'd get so far, only to give up or not continue out of lagging boredom. So I wanted to be a Luby's game, and since these games tend to go on forever, for me, it's when I can serve something to the psychotic chef, Papa Louie. Depending on how many people like it, I might do various other sequels to the game, just to keep the spirit alive, but um, I think this series has really helped when trying to space out videos. It gives me an additional week to work on stuff and come up with something for the following week. So, I don't know what I'm going to do once it's done. Uh, beyond that though, I have a few other ideas I want to try, so that way we can branch out, you know, outside of like the Fire Emblem and Pokemon stuff. As of writing this script out, I saw Hell of a Boss for the first time and want to talk my experiences uh, about it as an outsider looking in. I would love to work back in Objection.lol and create stupid shit or recreations with custom sprites. But, um, I don't think I'm good enough yet, so we'll see how that goes. And, you know, it's been a while since I've worked with it, and considering how well the video did last time I was doing it, when I was doing a uh, recreation with all my friends' arguments, they seem to enjoy it, and you guys seem to enjoy it, so, you know, I'd love to continue doing stuff with it. But, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about for this video. Future plans, ideas of what's to come, general stuff, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully we can continue to grow and get better. But, until then, I've been here. I hope you enjoyed. And until we meet next time, stay safe out there, alright?